News that impacts you and your community. 13 on your side evening news starts now. Good evening to you and welcome. I'm Charlie Tinker in for Elena Holland. Tonight we begin with a developing situation out of Muskegon County. We are learning at this hour police have found two people shot and killed inside a Fruitport home, including a child. Two others were injured in the shooting this morning as well. 13 on your side's Julie Koharik joins us uh, live with the tragic details. And Julie, how young uh, was the child who was shot? Charlie, one of those killed was just 10 years old. Now, police say there's no threat to the public anymore, but if you take a look behind me, you can see this area has been blocked off for hours now surrounding that house. We've seen multiple police units and an ambulance that have been out here all afternoon. The other killed is the suspect, a 54 year old man. Police say he likely died from a self inflicted wound after the other shootings. A seven year old girl is injured, as is a 61 year old woman. Now, they're in stable but critical condition at a local hospital. Their relationship to the suspected killer is not clear, but the police do say there is a relation. The incident happened around 11 a.m. in this residential neighborhood. I spoke to the deputy on scene. He says a shooting involving children is always shocking. Uh, I was shocked, obviously. You know, it's Father's Day Sunday, and uh, you know, no one could imagine these things happening in your own neighborhood, let alone your neighbor. Um, so appreciate your family. Again, police say there is no threat to the community. The investigation here is ongoing. At 11, you hear from a neighbor who says this isn't the first disturbance from this house in the past few weeks. Reporting live in Fruitport, Julie Koharik, 13 on your side.